Hey guys, Natty here. Welcome back to my clean out pantry meals. Today is day 23. 23. I'm going to show you what I made last night because my video yesterday was pretty long so I didn't record what I made for supper last night. But I made some hash brown patties in the air fryer. But I added something to it and it actually was really good. Jay liked it so much he wanted more. So I'll share that with you. And then I'll share with you the other meals that I made for today. So I made pulled pork back in January and froze some. And well, I'm going to pull it out tonight from the freezer and I'm going to use it on my hash browns that I'm making in the air fryer. So I have some pulled pork hash browns. Okay, so this is going to be very simple to make. It just... It's just to give you an idea of what you can make when you don't know what to make with hash browns. So I'm going to put two on each plate. Nice and simple. So because it's hot right now, I'm just going to shred some of that cheese, some of that uh, mozzarella cheese on top. Just like that. So this is the crock pot pulled pork, but when I made it in the crock pot, I made it with chili. So it's got a really good flavor to it. I'm just gonna, I nuked it in the microwave for about four minutes. So it's very hot. And I'm just gonna scoop that on top, just like that. Jay came in, he's like, it smells like a restaurant in here. I was like, you live in a restaurant, Don't, didn't you know that? AJ? Oh, I love it. I know you love it. He comes home to this. And he's like, wow. Okay, and then I'm just going to add some of these Swiss cheese crackers. They're actually pretty good. They're kind of like what I remember them being a long time ago. I've been having them for snacks and stuff, so this is also a good little side to maybe you know, dip some of this on there and go like that. Maybe. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. There's not much left, but that's good. And of course, well, we tend to have it's five. Well, what is it now? Five o'clock. We tend to have our snack at six six thirty, and then we don't eat for the rest of the night. So it's just a light meal for now. And then, like I said, in an hour and a half from now, I'm going to have my snack, which is usually yogurt. Uh, with a little bit of that granola and that's our meal for the night. So this is a nice easy meal that you could do with hash browns. You could, if you don't have the pulled pork, of course you could use beans, you could use chili, just something different, right? Well, I'm going to make what you got pizzas today in the air fryer, but this time I'm going to use these nans that I got on the reduced bin in my last grocery haul. And, uh, we're going to make some nans with what we got, what you got, pizza sandwiches, or what you got, pizza nan, what you got, pizza nan. So nothing spectacular, guys. I'm just using up what I have in my fridge, in my pantry, and we're going to do something good. So this was put in the freezer. I put them in the freezer, so when I need it for pizza, I have it. So we're taking two today, and we're going to make that up. So the meat of choice today will be corned beef. So this is luncheon meat, or lunch meat. Um, I froze it. It was from my last grocery haul, so now I'm just putting it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And I'm going to cut it up, and we're going to use this as a topping for our pizza. I'm also going to use this thick and zesty garden tomato and mushroom sauce from the Best Before Pantry. I'm going to use some mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese. And some Parmesan cheese from the fridge. Let's get rid of this freaking thing. Okay, so we're going to have lots of leftover sauce. So that's going to go in a jar in the fridge once this is done. I'm just going to stir it up a little bit. I'm just going to slap that on. Yeah, I haven't been buying the frozen pizzas. 
that I usually buy. But if I catch them at Frugal's, I'll buy them because they're really cheap there. But uh, frozen pizza's starting to go up. Like uh, the one that I usually buy at the Food Basics, it's not bad. It's three forty-five for a pizza. I just find that their toppings, <laughs> there's less toppings on it, and it seems to be getting smaller. So it's like, well, maybe I'll just make them at home. It's a lot cheaper, and well, you know, got a lot more cheese at home because usually I have to add my own toppings to it to make it a better pizza, right? I still have all this can of sauce. Look at that. So like I said, it's nothing spectacular, guys. It's nothing like amazingly, like, oh my gosh, you know. It's just a quick meal you can make with things you have in your house. Things you can pick up on the cheap and use up, right? So I'm going to use a little bit of that Parmesan, that Parmesan cheese stuff there. Or what you call uh, grated cheese product made with Parmesan. Still good though. I don't mind it at all. So now this is a luncheon meat. Corned beef was it? Yeah, corned beef. So I'm just going to cut it into slices. Like I said, I nuked it for 30 minutes because, or 30 minutes. 30 seconds, 30 minutes would have fried this thing. It would have been like powder. Um, so 30 seconds in the microwave. And. Mm, nom, 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 nom. That's going to go on top of that. So that was in the microwave for 30 seconds. I cut it up. And now we're going to do the Parmesan cheese. The mozzarella. My God, I can't talk today, guys. I really can't. I'm going to use about that much. And I'm just going to shred the cheese. Or grade, shred, whatever you call this. See, when I went to school, guys, and I took cooking classes and stuff, it was in a French school. So everything was taught in French. So anything in English that I learned about cooking came from books and videos and TV shows. But is it shredded or is it grated? I think it's shredded. There's a shredded cheese or grated cheese, whatever. And now I'm going to add some basil, basil, basil. I just love basil. Ever since the summers when I grew some there, just, oh, it's just, it's so good. <sighs> I don't have much to add to it this week. I could add pickles, but I don't want pickles on it. I could add an onion, but then I have to chop up an onion, and I don't feel like chopping up an onion. I don't have any olives. It's something I have to pick up. Maybe that's something I'll add to my grocery list. Olives. It's going to be a corned beef. A delicious corned beef pizza. I know what you're thinking. What kind of weird shit is she going to put on there? What is the weird ingredient she's going to put on there? Well, I have something floating in my head right now. Some people might find it gross, but I think it's going to be good. Usually when I make a corned beef sandwich or a pastrami sandwich, I like to add my favorite thing, and that's sauerkraut. Wine sauerkraut. I always have this in my fridge. So yeah, I'm going to add that to the pizza today. Oh, you're screwing it up. No, I'm not. Making it delicious, guys. Make it a natty way. If you could have it on bread, why not have it on your pizza? So I always have this in my fridge and this jar is getting pretty, pretty low, you know, so maybe I'll get to finish it soon and then I could replenish it with a new jar. Mm. 
<laughs> Sour card is so good for you guys. It's got a lot of probiotics. It's good for your gut health. It boosts your immune system as well. You know? Boost your sauerkraut. Just have a little bit every day. Even if it's just like a, you know, let's say this much. It's perfect. It's perfect. Now I'm just going to put some pepper on there. Bella, you have to move. You almost got stepped on. Bella, move back, please. Move. Move over there. In your spot. So a little bit of pepper. Bella, over there in your spot. Mama's going to step on you. And that's it. So I'm going to put them in the air fryer one at a time because that's all the room I have. For say five minutes and we'll take a peek. I think five minutes should be enough. This is all the cheese I have. Uh-oh. Better be stingy with that cheese, Natty. We're getting to the bottom of this. It's getting there. It's Parmesan cheese. Almost done. This is still a full can pretty much, so I'm gonna put that in the fridge. And this, well, we have about that much left. Of the one sauerkraut. So these jars. They charge two eighty nine for a jar of this size. When I got this, they were ninety nine cents. It's supposed to show away, guys. I know it's a different sauce, but I find the pasta sauce is getting really expensive now. It's rare that you'll get it for ninety nine cents. Really rare. I think it's dollar ninety seven and up. Mm. But Primo's not bad. But there's some other sauces that I enjoy compared to this one. But if I see these for 99 cents again, I'm going to pick some up. Now, I know my man. He would want that folded into a sandwich. So it's a nan, what you got, nan sandwiches. What you got, nan sandwiches. So I'm just going to fold it. I had it in there for... Five minutes already. Now the other side has to be um, toasted. So I'm going to put it in for one more minute. Corn beef, sauerkraut, pizza sandwiches on a man. Perfect. So this is my sauerkraut. And corn beef. No, this is my corn beef and sauerkraut pizza on a nan. And it's made into a sandwich for my man Jay. I think I'll make it the same way. I want to try it this way. I am so happy I got these on special for a dollar what eighty nine. I seen them recently in a flyer, and I think they were five ninety nine a jar now. Huh! Not gonna pay that much. But I have to say, they're good pickles. I like them. So I'm going to give them a couple of dill pickles. Go this meal. There we go. And that's my man's lunch. I was going to do taste test time by myself. And then look who creeped around the corner, eh? Taste test time! My son. Here he comes. All right, here's your meal. This is uh, corned beef on an ant. It's what you got, pizza sandwich time. Okay. There's sauerkraut in there too, so be careful, maybe hot, babe. I'll let you eat it first, mine's a little hot. It's right to you. Mm -hmm. Is that all you could say? Yeah, my mouth is full. That's good. Oh, hot. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. It's good. Get it a little bit more this way. So it's right, right there. We go. See that? Almost looks like a pizza pocket, eh? Mm hmm. Kind of tastes like one with a sour cream. I love it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So something easy to make, you know, it's nothing extravagant, but it's cheap, right? I got the Nans on uh, Reduce, so they were like, I think it was $1.47 for six of them. So, nice and cheap. I still have uh, uh, four left in the freezer. Mmm. Mmm. And you can put anything you want on it. Chicken, primavera sauce, or primavera, uh, Alfredo sauce and chicken would be good too. Mozzarella, you can do anything you want, right? Just use up what you got. Mm. <clears throat> I don't have a napkin. <laughs> you may napkin, please. Messy eater. Messy eater. She is. Usually it's him, but today it's messy eater. Remember these I found in the pantry? I told you I'd cook them up and make something spectacular. I really don't know what to make with it. So I think I'll just make it in the crock pot. Make it in the crock pot. So I think I've only made these scalloped potatoes in a box maybe twice in my life. But I've never done it in the crock pot and I'm super lazy today. It's Friday, you know, I've been editing my videos and I just want to relax. I don't want to do anything. So I'm just going to make it the most laziest way I can think of. And just throw them in the crock pot and let it do it. Let the crock pot do it for me. I know I could throw it in the oven the same way, but I don't know. So, on the box states that I need two cups of boiling water and one third cup of milk. So I'm going to put in four cups of water and two, one third of milk. Okay, so let's put in four cups of water first. Or it is. But I'm going to add the powdered milk because I don't have any, uh, any of that, you know. So I'm just going to add some skim milk some of the skim milk that i had in my best before pantry a little bit left now just a little bit of the dry stuff all right i'm gonna use magic spoon to stir it because right now it's still cold and i can stir it into the water then i'm gonna add these packets of sauce that came with the box stuff. I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. But I think I'm going to add a side to it. But this is how you do it in a crock pot. And this is pretty much how you do it when you do it on the stove top too. Except you gotta, you know, cook it on the stove top. Here I just had to walk, walk away. Okay, so now throw those in the two bags of potatoes look at that they look like chips crisp there's not much in there guys like it's a very small bag for $1.99 hmm. and now they're even more expensive than a dollar nine or they're like two forty nine they when they come on special they're a dollar ninety nine but now they're two forty nine Okay, that's it. Just leave it like that. Make sure it's all covered up. All nice, nice. And I'll put it in for about two hours and I'll come and take a peek because I don't know how long I put it in the crock pot, right? So we'll see. Now we'll leave it on low because I don't want to burn the sides. And that's it. And that's how you make a $4 crock pot meal. It's an emergency meal. You take these boxes when you see them on special, put them in your pantry. And if you don't know what to make, hey, here it is. 
nice pantry meal for four bucks. So as a side, I'm going to go very fancy. Black Forest smoked ham steaks. So I got this at Frugal's. I think it was a dollar, maybe two dollars, but I'm pretty sure it was a dollar when I got it. So they were frozen. I took them out and now I'm just going to put them in the cast iron frying pan and uh, warm them up. Naturally wood smoked Black Forest ham. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these up. One. Smells good. And since it's a um, cheddar and bacon, since it's scalp potatoes that's cheddar and bacon. Figured this is a good side. There we go. I figured out what to eat for dinner tonight. The best part about this, you don't have to add anything but butter at the when you heat up the pan. But you don't have to add salt, pepper, nothing. Just like that. Just gotta heat them up and it's ready to go. Well, after three hours, the scalp potatoes are ready. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up this tomato and I'm going to put it in a salad. I have some romaine lettuce left from a couple weeks back. And well, I should use it up. So that's what I'll do. I'll use this as a side and make a nice salad. Taste test time. Taste test time. So these are my crock pot potatoes. Uh, like I said, two boxes, $2 each box. So $4. So it's a $4 meal. But if you add the ham, it cost me maybe a dollar. It's a $5 meal. And you're feeding about two or three people, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. It turned out pretty good. It turned out pretty good. It's got a nice flavor to it. It's creamy. It's got a nice bacon flavor to it. I think I'm going to buy some boxes like that. Like, like I said, I had some in stock, but I only tried it like twice in my life. So knowing that I could do this in the crock pot, I might just buy some more boxes if they come on special. Mm -hmm. Maybe a good stock up for my emergency pantry again. Well, dinner is served. So I got my scalp potatoes, I got my salad with some Caesar dressing and some tomatoes, and I got the Black Forest ham, nice and ready. Yum, yum. Well, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and come back tomorrow because tomorrow's a new day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. B. Bella. Bella. Get down. What are you doing on the mama's bed? You know you're not supposed to be on the mama's bed. Why are you on the mama's bed? Mama's making a video. Hey, is Mama editing a video? This is what she does when I edit a video. Hey, what you doing in the Mama's bed? Push over. Push over.
Push over. Bella. Bella. What you doing on the mama's bed? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Did you have a nap? Did Bella have a nap? Hey? Eh? Did Bella have a nap? <laughs> now look. Bella. She's gonna take off because she doesn't like the camera. Bye. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs>